Things You Missed in Josh Cullen's Wild Tonight MV. So obviously in the credits, Josh Cullen's role is the alpha vampire or in other words, the king among the vampires. But did you know that there could possibly be a queen vampire? In the scene before the first chorus started, you will see the king with his crown for the first time. Then 5 seconds later, you'll see two beautiful girls sort of making out. One of them has the queen earring. Now at first, this looks like it doesn't mean anything but as soon as the last pre-chorus was about to begin, this happens. So is she the queen of our alpha vampire? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. No violent reactions, okay? So after watching all the teasers leading up to the MV and the MV itself, I have come to a conclusion that it is a revenge tale. The MV is divided in two timelines. The past is represented by the black and white scenes while the present is with the colored scenes. The teasers also talked a little bit about the past. So this is how I understood the story. The alpha vampire used to live alone in his castle until the damsel in distress somehow found her way into the place and obviously she became a victim and became a vampire herself. They both lived happily and peacefully for a while until an army of humans found their way to the castle to save the girl because apparently she was some big name. I don't know how they managed to defeat the vampire king but it's quite obvious that in this scene he looked a little weak and someone is being taken away from him then eventually he was put into an indefinite slumber. So fast forward to the present, the vampire king got awakened probably by the overwhelming presence of humans. He still clearly remembers what happened so he has this insatiable hatred for them. He welcomed them and provided the people with drinks but little did they know that the king mixed some of his blood with the drinks which will convert them into vampires. So after a few sips, they started twitching until the beat drops when they already became full-blown vampires. This means that they will now share the pain the king experienced as a vampire in the past and thus together they can most of you probably noticed this obvious scene with the five coffins. One belongs to Josh Cullen, and I'm sure you already know to whom the other four belong as we await for their awakening. This one's simple, a dead tree symbolizes death. Vampires aren't technically alive, so yeah. These horns are not random at all. Josh mentioned this in his livestream that it was inspired by Ifrit, a popular summon from Final Fantasy. Most scenes of the music video except the club were shot in Palacio de Memoria located in Paranaque City. I don't want to bore you with history so all you need to know is that this is a 7-story pre-war mansion from the 60s. This scene is actually an interior of a private airplane called Antonov 24B Russian aircraft operated by the now defunct airline Mosville, which was reused to look like a vintage private airplane with a bar and launch. It is open to the public as the Mosville launch. I really like what Josh Collin did here because this will get people curious about the venue which means he just brilliantly fulfilled his role as a Philippine culture ambassador and that for me deserves a lot of credit. And do you know what else deserves a lot of credit? His life story. Because I can promise you that whatever you went through with your life, Josh probably went through much worse. Here's the video. Hey, 